Break news coming in a daylight. Murder has been caught on camera. The owner of an eatery was murdered in broad daylight after he tried to intervene in an altercation between a waiter and a customer. The owner of the ET was stabbed in cold blood by the customer who had gotten into an argument with the waiter over a delayed order. The brutal murder was caught on camera. Let's get now from my editor South Tia Sudhir who's with us on the phone line. Uh, Sudhir, uh, an unexpected and shocking case of murder being uh, reported here. Where exactly th did this happen? So this happened in the Begumpet area of Hyderabad when this customer had an argument first with the waiter and thereafter with the owner of that eatery. And uh, after that argument, he went away from there and came back after about half an hour with a knife and immediately stabbed the owner. The owner had opened the shop just about three months back and uh, died on the spot even before he could be rushed to the hospital. Uh, the person will be arrested and most likely produced before the, the court uh, sometime today is what the police in the Begumpet area in Hyderabad are telling us. Right, and uh, Sudhir, this was basically an argument over a delayed order, am I correct? Well, that's what the police say, that it was an a, a argument over a very trivial issue that perhaps the waiter took some more time, more time than necessary to serve the customer tea and an argument broke over that and when the uh, owner of the eatery tried to intervene, the matter only escalated and ended in this person coming back with a knife and stabbing him. The entire incident has been caught on CCTV, uh, which was installed near a, a te at a temple which is adjoining this particular eatery in the Begumpet area. Right, and uh, Sudhir, any word on who exactly this customer was? Has he been, has he been identified? Well, this customer is a 22-year-old youth, uh, obviously got very angry with the manner in which the uh, altercation took place between him and the owner of the eatery over something which is really being seen as an extremely trivial issue. Uh, this particular eatery, as I said, was also opened just about three months back by this 40-year-old uh, person called Jahangir who died on the spot after he was stabbed several times by the uh, customer. Suzy, thanks so much for that update. We'll keep coming back to you for the latest in investigations. A shocker coming to light from Begum Pet area of Hyderabad. Let's get to some news from Uttar Pradesh now, where a college professor was mercilessly assaulted, allegedly by a student leader of the Samajwadi Party and his henchmen. The professor was targeted because he tried to prevent SP goons from cheating during exams at the Bipin Bihari Degree College in Jhansi. The assault on the teacher was caught on camera, but the goons managed to escape. The attack came four days after the professor stopped the SP student leader from cheating during a university exam on the 16th of March. This was the first time I was in the night. Who was it? Rahul Singh Yadav, Adyaksh, Pippin Valley College. He came to take the same thing. He was opening the paper and when we saw the people coming back, we were coming back and we were coming back and we were coming back and we were coming back to the principal office. Then they started to kill the people. And then they ran away. During the exam, the principal had been taken away from the principal. He had been taken away from the principal. He had been taken away from the principal. He had not been taken away from the principal. और एग्जाम ना होने के बाद भी ये एंट्री किया और एंट्री के बाद हमारे एक डॉक्टर हैं पांडे जी उनके साथ बदतमीजी किया है कि हाँ उनके साथ हाथापाई की है The big story coming out of Jammu and Kashmir which witnessed a second terror strike in two days. Two terrorists were killed as militants attacked an army camp in Samba sector. A group of militants opened fire at an army camp near an army public school in Samba sector early on Saturday morning. The army retaliated as terrorists lobbed grenades at the camp. Combing operations are still underway. Intelligence sources say that the same terror group uh, that targeted Kathua yesterday may have been behind the strike in Samba. Yes, the possibility that some attackers are part of the same batch of infiltrators cannot be ruled out. That's a statement coming out from the police. It is believed that uh, the initial terror group consisted of uh, eight to nine terrorists. Sources add that the presence of uh, more terrorists in the area cannot be ruled out just yet. 
two attacks in two days. The state of Jammu and Kashmir has been put on an alert. Uh, security agencies have been advised to maintain extra vigil as uh, the intelligence sources uh, have been pointing uh, that there is a possibility that more attacks can happen. Uh, sources in the intelligence have said that uh, uh, there is very little clarity as to how many uh, terrorists have managed to sneak in uh, from the international border side and are still present in Jammu area and that's why uh, the possibility of more attacks cannot be ruled out and that's the reason why there would be uh, a security review after this encounter is over. Uh, in general, this uh, seems to be one of the difficult times for the new government uh, which has come into uh, force just a month back. Uh, it is uh, very important to see how uh, this government manages to tackle a situation like this. As of now, what our sources in the security are saying that every step is being taken to ensure that if at all there is a possibility of an untoward incident that is neutralized even before it happens. With cameraman Roof Shujaulhak in Senegar, Firelines today.